welcome back to the green apple home today I have a little simple recipe it's something that you can do for a snack or for breakfast it's really good and quick and easy so let's get to it's called an almond nut muff but there's also a variation that is a walnut cranberry nut muff and it's just really simple and easy did I mention it was delicious this is just my little snacky poo first you need an English muffin and then you toast it these are some of the ingredients right here, guys. Mmm. Looking good so far. Alright, wow. That's a lot of butter. Okay. <laughs> the muffs. The muffs are now buttered. Now we're going to make a little brown sugar and cinnamon glaze. Since this glaze is only going to be for me for one nut muff, I'm just going to put in, like, oh, I don't know, a little spoonful of full of sugar I probably won't use all of this but so I'll just do a spoonful of sugar a dash or two or three or four or whatever of cinnamon if you'd like you can add some vanilla I might add a touch of vanilla um, you could add confectioner's sugar if you wanted to I'm gonna add a splash of milk and see what this looks like splash whoopsie a little too much, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna mix it up. I put too much milk in, so maybe I'll add a touch of powdered sugar to thicken it up a little bit. A spoonful of powdered sugar just to thicken it up. I added too many splashes of milk. The idea is to make a little glaze. I'm gonna say that's good because I don't want to mess around too much with that. Whoop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it and um, pour some of this little glaze. You can make it more frosting like if you want to. Mine's just kind of syrupy. It's like a little, uh, well, it'll be glazed. You'll see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to broil. I'm going to put this under the broiler in the oven. And I'm going to go ahead while it's on there, and it'll kind of caramelize it a little bit. But while I'm at it, I can't make it a nut muff without a nut. So I'm going to add some little sliced almonds on there. And that way the almonds will kind of get toasted at the same time. If you're an almond lover, you can add more. If you just want to taste, add a few. And into the broiler it goes. I have my nut muff on a Corel dish. My Corels always do pretty decent under a broiler. I'm just going to leave this open like this. About that. And just let it sit there for like, I don't know, a minute. If you look carefully, you will see that the glaze is bubbling. It's a good sign. Just another little minute or two see it and it's turning the rims golden brown that's what you want baby see how the the almonds are kind of toasted oh my gracious yum people hey voila cream cheese on the side this is my first version this is called an almond nut muff and it's delicious the second version I'm gonna do is where you pretty much do the same thing so I don't know if I'm going to make a whole nother one. But instead of doing the toasted almonds, you do the little glaze. I'm going to do this one without the almonds. Another one I'm going to do with the second version. Okay. So this is the first version. The second version, you do the little glazed muffin. And then you change the cream cheese part. And right here I've been chopping up some um, walnuts. And so whatever amount you think you want in your cream cheese... You put it in, and then you can choose like some craisins. Right now, I've got some cranberry, some cherry infused cranberries, or some pomegranate ones. I think I'm gonna try cherry. But yeah, any any cranberry, um, cherry, whatever your heart desires. <laughs> now that I've topped up some walnuts and some cranberries, what I'm gonna do is just take my little bowl and however many, however much cream cheese I want to put in there, I will. Um, maybe two little scoops would be good. I don't know. Put some in there. You add 
many walnuts and as many cranberries as you like. And then you stir it up all together. Makes a yummy, yummy, yummy spread to go on top of your nut muff. And look at that. It's so, so good. Walnuts and cranberries on a toasted English muffin with butter and brown sugar and cinnamon. It's just a delight. This is really good too if you want to serve it like for a brunch or something because it's got that wow factor, the ooh wow this is fancy, but it does not require a lot of time, talent, effort, money, much of that stuff. Well, nuts are kind of expensive, but anyways, um, let's taste it, shall we? Always just love eating on camera. <laughs> This is the walnut cranberry muffin. I would order this at a restaurant, like a breakfast place. Yeah. My second one was the almond nut muff. I just added a little bit of cream cheese on there. But. Whoops. Mmm. <laughs> I like both of them, really. The toasted almonds give it gives it this like crunch and like the um it's like a oaky the nut comes out more. It's just delicious. My favorite would probably be combining the two and having the walnuts, the cranberries, and the almonds toasted on the top. So I think I'm gonna put them together in a sandwich and just eat them. Anyway, there's your little breakfast recipe. Super simple, super easy, delicious. Try it sometime. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home. Mm -hmm.